Categorical variables, also known as qualitative variables, are non-numeric observations such as eye colour or preferred brand of car. Categorical variables can be broken down into distinct categories, so for eye colour the categories could be blue, brown and green. In each category you can count the number of observations to help you see any interesting patterns or trends and make meaningful comparisons. In this video, we're going to look at how to organise and summarise categorical data using frequency tables and bar graphs. We'll start by opening a dataset. I'm going to select New Zealand Income Survey.gsh, then double click to open this file in a spreadsheet. This data set contains survey responses from 200 people who were asked questions about their age, gender, ethnicity, qualifications and marital status, as well as other information relating to their income. I'd like to see the numbers involved in some of these categories. First, I want to know how many Europeans were surveyed, how many Māori and Pacific Islanders were surveyed, I'm also interested in how many of the survey respondents are in each of the educational qualification categories. We can get this information using a frequency table, which you'll find under Stats, Summary Statistics, Frequency Tables. The available data field already contains the four-factor columns from our data set because GenStat recognised these as categorical data that can be summarised. Ethnicity and qualification are the two categorical variables that I want to summarise, so I'll move these into the Groups field. Select Set Margin so that our frequency table includes row and column totals and the grand total. We'll display the results in a spreadsheet. If we don't select this option, our results will only display in the output window, rather than creating a spreadsheet. Click Run. This produces a two-way frequency table because we selected two factors, ethnicity and qualification. The margins on the right show us the counts for each ethnic group. Of all the participants who responded, 156 were Europeans. 24 were Māori, 13 were other, and 7 were Pacific Islanders. The margins on the bottom show us the counts for each educational qualification category. 39 people had no qualification, 66 had a school qualification, and so on. On the left, I'll double-click the Frequency Tables window to bring it to the front. I'd like to see the percentage of respondents within each ethnic group who fall into the different qualification categories, so I'll select the percentage option and select ethnicity as the margin used for calculating the percentages. Click Run to produce the two-way frequency table. In the body of the table, the percentage of respondents in the four qualification categories are given for each ethnic group. Notice that the sum of the percentages across the rows is 100, as we used ethnicity as the margin to calculate the percentages. If we look at the degree column, we can see that 15.4% of the 156 Europeans surveyed have a degree, while only 8.3% of the 24 Māori surveyed have a degree. None of the seven Pacific Islanders in the survey have a degree, which is most likely a reflection of the small sample size. In the output, you can see the same information that is displayed in the table, with the word count replacing the word margin. We can display the same data graphically. On the left, I'll double-click the Frequency Tables window to bring it to the front. Click the Graphics button. I want to see if there is any relationship between a person's ethnicity and their level of qualification. To do this, I'm going to create a bar graph that shows the percentage of people within each ethnic group that have a qualification of some kind. 
We're going to use the counts table we created a moment ago as our data source. We'll use qualification as our explanatory variable on the x-axis and ethnicity as the grouping variable so that bars are color coded by ethnicity. We'll give this graph a meaningful title and select bar chart. Now click run. That's looking pretty good, but we could do with a few more labels to make it more clear what we're looking at. To edit the graph, select Edit, Edit Graph. I'm going to label the y-axis percentage for each group because we're plotting percentages in the four different qualification categories for each ethnic group rather than raw counts. I'll label the x-axis qualification type. Click Apply to make these changes. I think the key is a bit too close to the qualification type label, so I'll move that down and label it as well. I click the key tab, add a title, and change the vertical position to move it down a little. Click Apply to make your changes. Then we'll close this window and save and close the graph. I'm going to bring our table to the front again by clicking it over here. This causes our graph to disappear, so click the graphics button to bring this to the front. Now we can compare the graph to our table. The key shows us that the red bars represent Europeans. Starting from the left, we can see that the red bar reaches just under 20% and the category is none. Comparing this to the table, we can see that 19.2% of Europeans have no qualifications. In the school category, the red bar reaches a little higher than 30% and in the table, we see that 32.1% of Europeans have a school qualification. Staying within the school category, the light blue bar reaches well over 50%. The key tells us that this bar represents Pacific Islanders, and in the table, we see that 57.1% of this group have a school qualification. In the degree category, the red and blue bars are the same height. This tells us that equal percentages of Europeans and other have a degree, and in the table, we can confirm this. Here's a different bar graph of the same data. The only difference is that I've swapped the grouping factors around. In the graph on the left, the focus is on the ethnicity of the survey participants, and in the graph on the right, the focus is on the qualifications they achieved. You can learn more about using GenStax graphs by reading our graphics guidebook. You can access this PDF from the Help menu by selecting Help, GenStack Guides, Graphics Guide.